welcome back everybody. I haven't seen you in about in a little while, but today we're going to be looking at yesterday question from last time and then using it. So last time it said to write an equation that relates the total amount A of money raised by the soccer team to the number N of miles walked and the amount given in additional dollars. So I'm actually going to skip ahead to today's question because you're going to be using that and I want you to see how you're using it. So it asks you to write an equation. So remember an equation we know is a number sentence blank equals something. So it says the amount of money A that members of the Lincoln sponsored Lincoln soccer team raised. Remember 92 sponsors pledged a dollar per mile. So if we use D is our variable for the dollars per mile, or excuse me, 92N for number of miles, plus donations. And we have no idea how much was given. So for today, part B asks us, the team walked eight miles and raised a total amount of $842. First, is there enough information to find out how much money came from additional donations that did not depend on walking distance? Uh, so we're given the amount. So I'm going to move my move my cursor. So we're given the amount is $842 equals, and then we know that 92 sponsors. So said that they would sponsor a dollar a mile. So it's 92 times however many miles. In this case, it's eight plus D. Is there enough information to go on to find out the value of D? Do we have enough information? Well, since I plugged the numbers in from our original uh, as I plug the num those numbers in, I have a constant, I have two constants multiplied by each other, and then I just have one variable. So I can solve for this, I can solve for this variable. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to multiply 932, or excuse me, 92 times 8, and I get 736. The equals 842. Now for those of you that have been watching and doing the work that Mr. Earl, he talked about, he's talked about the additive inverse. Remember inverse means opposite. So we're going to take, and in order to isolate this variable D, I'm going to add the opposite of 736, which is negative, negative 736. Or it's the same as subtracting 736 from both sides. I'm gonna bring this actually down here where I have a little bit more space. So 736 minus 736 gives me zero. So I have my D variable isolated. And then 842 minus 736 equals 106. So it's asking if there's an, enough information to figure out if we know the total amount and we know the amount of miles walked, how much else came in from, um, from these additional donations. And we do. So there you go. Have a great rest of your day.